Hello everyone! God is good! Another wonderful time to be with you my friends here in my YouTube channel. Welcome back for our sharing and inspiration. Last time I just done the series of who is a Christian, why I am a Christian, why you've been identified as Christian and wonderful things that you experience and you you feel and you continue to experience in your life as God continue to shower you a blessing as being a Christian. A great thing as being a Christian. A wonderful things as being a Christian. I hope you've been blessed, you've been being power, in that you are you are not only called as Christian, but You've been transformed, you've been changed, you are truly connected to our Lord Jesus Christ, to God who loves us, who loves you, who protect you, who guard you in all ways and many ways. And this time, I would like you to join with me in our sharing that the powerful word of Jesus that he proclaimed forgiveness. He performed and he did forgiveness. Jesus forgives and not only that, he heals a paralyzed man. Here you can see the power of our Lord Jesus Christ in this hearing, in this Bible study, in this empowering that Jesus can forgive, Jesus can heal, Jesus can transform, Jesus can bless you. Jesus can empower you. Jesus forgives and heals the paralyzed, a paralyzed man. We're going to read this uh, Luke chapter 5, verse 17 to 20, 26. As our word for today, we're going to take we're going to take from this word. We're going to get from this word so that we can uh, grow in our faith. We know so that we can know more to Jesus, more on Jesus. We can be like Jesus. And that's, that's our direction to know our Savior, to know our King, to know our God, to know that our God is here. Here, we're going to read. One day, Jesus was teaching, and Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there. They had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem, and the power of the Lord was with Jesus, our Lord, to heal the sick. Some men some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat and tried to take him into a house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up to the roof and lowered him, lowered him on his mat threw the tiles into the middle of the crowd, right in the front of Jesus, right in the front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. The Pharisees and the teachers of the law began thinking to themselves, Who is this fellow who speaks blasphemy? Who can forgive sins but God alone? Jesus know what they were thinking and asked, Why are you thinking these things in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Get up and walk. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. 
So he said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, get up. Take your mat and go home. Immediately, he stood up in the front of them, took what he had been laying, and on and went home praising God. Everyone was amazed and gave praise to God where they were filled with awe and said, We have seen remarkable things today. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will bless my viewers. I pray that you will touch their heart and their emotion and spirit. I pray that they can find you, Lord, through your word. Thank you, Jesus, that you forgive our sins. You've forgiven our sins on the cross, and you heal a broken heart that you heal our soul, you heal our spirit, our mind. Bless us, O Lord, empower us, and bless everyone who can watch here physically, emotionally, and they can find the strength from you, Lord. They can find hope from you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Here we go, my friend. I would like to remind you for the great work of our Lord Jesus Christ to our God. To our Lord Jesus Christ who loves us, who died for us, He redeemed us on the cross. And not only He redeemed us, He healed our broken hearted. He healed our broken soul. Not only that, here you can see what Jesus did. Jesus here, full of power to heal the sick, to forgive the sinner's heart. The sin of the world. I know we are not perfect. You are not perfect like me. We can commit sin in our words, in our action. But when you remember that there is someone who can forgive you for all your filthiness, for all your sins, for all your discouragement from, from your suffering, you can, you can come to Jesus for healing, comfort here. Right here, as always, Jesus is the answer for all our needs, for our sin, for the brokenhearted, for the soul who is weary and weak, for the mind who is confused and anxious, for the person who is broke financially, emotionally, mentally. Here, Jesus is complete. You can see this man here. He is paralyzed. But his neighbors help him to be in the presence of the Lord. To be in the presence of God. You know, when you are far from the Lord, we are like paralyzed. We can do nothing. Or we can do something, but we are not guided. We are lost in the way. We are lost in our direction. Sometimes we want this thing. Oh, I, I thought this thing can, can fulfill my heart. I thought that this thing can fulfill my emotion, can, can give me more happiness, or can, can bring me joy. But after all, after all these things, you can still say, no. Not the answer. Not the answer. Look at this man. I know he's been paralyzed for a long time. He's been paralyzed for a long time in his life. Bedridden. Nowhere to go. When, when you are far from God, you, that's what you feel. So you've been paralyzed. You can do nothing. And then, and then we try to, to get some temporary healing for us. And some people went to drug, drug. Some people try to find happiness in worldly things. Some people, they try to find happiness in money, power. Everything that they can satisfy themselves or alcohol, try to pay themselves in alcohol 
because they think that through parties, through drinkings, and many ways, they try to get those things, but all those things is still not enough. You still paralyze. You still paralyze. And that's what happened to these Pharisees. They think that that through their practices as being a faithful Jew or a faithful follower in the temple, learning all the laws, learning all the laws and teaching as an expert, as Pharisees and teachers of the law is enough. But they forget that Jesus is the answer to complete to complete their doubt, to, pro to complete their knowledge, not only a knowledge, but to gain that wisdom from God. Jesus forgive the sin. Jesus forgive our trespasses. Jesus redeem us from the cross. Jesus heal our broken heart. Jesus transform and bless our soul. No one can do that. It's only our Lord Jesus Christ. These Pharisees, the teachers of the law, they accuse our Lord Jesus Christ that He is, He is a blasphemer. He lied. He lied. That's what they say. But Jesus is real. Jesus transforms lives, forgives, and heals the paralyzed man. And then you can see in verse 20, you can read here, When Jesus saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven. Because this, the, the people there, they try to help this paralyzed man. You know, they open the roof to, lead, to, to, to put down this paralyzed man to be in the front of Jesus. Because Jesus was in the crowd. And here when he was lowered, him on his mat threw the tiles into the middle of the crowd. Right in the front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith. Amazing. He said, friend. Your sins are forgiven. We need to come to Jesus, number one thing, with faith, with trust, with understanding. You need to believe in Jesus with your faith, no matter what, no matter what situation is. You know, my friend, in my situation, I just done my 90 days in my job. And I need to make a decision to resign because I need to visit our family back home in the province. My mother-in-law has a medical problem. My wife is sad. And, you know, we need to see her. And it's been four years that we never see our family. Her mom, my mom, my family too. But it's hard to decide when you just got hired and you need to give up something. We know that job is very important here in the United States. It's like job is life. If you don't earn, how could you pay your bills? And just like me, I'm a Filipino American. I'm a Filipino. In my heart, family is love. Even I try to deny, I say, no, you know, they can do it. But you cannot remove and take away the heart that you are the one who truly help your family, your mom, your brother in college. And that's also my wife there. All she did, hard work for her family. We both. And if you are immigrants, you can truly know that. You can truly feel that, that heart and experience, and, and especially for a Filipino. 
It's hard for me. But I pray to God. You are the one Lord who gave this job. I prayed for it. I got hired. Someone prayed for me. Lord, you are the right to take. I just want to trust in you. I put my trust in you. I put my faith in you, Lord. That no matter what, no matter what, it is your will be done. Not my will be done. It is you, Lord. And my faith is in you, Lord. When God, when Jesus saw their faith, Jesus forgave them. I know today, maybe you lose hope. There will be no hope to you. Maybe you say, oh, there's another, there's, there is hope for me to get to dwell in this place. My friend, yes. Look at this paralyzed man. He been, he been that, he been in that, in that bed for a long time. He can do nothing. But Jesus forgive his sin. Forgive the sins. And then Jesus healed him. And, and Jesus, what Jesus said to this man. What Jesus said to this man. Why are you thinking this? What is this? In verse 22. Let's read this one. Jesus know what they were thinking and asked, Why are you thinking these things in your heart? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven? Or you say, Get up and walk. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. That's what Jesus told to these Pharisees, to these teachers of the law who try. To persecute him and debit our Lord Jesus. And he said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home. That's you will be free. When you are forgiven from your sin, from your sin that who, who entangled you, who controlled you, and when you ask Jesus, I and mean, you ask God through the power of the Holy Spirit, God, forgive me. Lord Jesus, forgive me. And Jesus will tell you, go home because you're forgiven. I made it for you. I died on the cross for you. It is done. It is finished. You are forgiven. And then when God forgave you, you are totally forgiven. God will not remember that anymore. Once you are forgiven, once you've been changed by God, you are transformed completely. You no longer belong to yourself, but you belong to Christ because you've been bought. You are paid by a great price and the price is the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he gave his life on the cross. No greater friends that can do that. That's our Lord Jesus Christ. My friend, ask yourself where I can get forgiveness, where I can get complete healing. It is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Come to Him. Talk to Him in your prayer. Ask Him. Find a church that you will grow. Read the Word of God. Here, yeah, read the Word of God. Learn more and more. Maybe you have problem in your family. You have problem in your relationship. You have a problem in addiction or any kind of of addiction you encounter in your life alcoholism you want to get out you want to have a changed life you are paralyzed but you need to be healed today claim it in the lord jesus christ give it and, and let the lord touch you today my friend nothing impossible nothing is impossible in christ jesus let us pray lord god I pray that you will touch my viewers today. If they have their problem, they've been paralyzed for sin, entangled. 
I pray, Lord, that you will touch their heart and spirit, that they will come to you for forgiveness. They will surrender their sin. They will surrender their life. I pray, Lord, that they can meet you, Lord, and they can experience that healing, transformation, heal my viewers from their problem emotionally of the if their physical problem, Lord, if, if someone suffered cancer, if someone suffered a uh, problem in their relationship, in their marriage, in their workplace, or bodily pain, or even addiction, Lord, and you want to go out from this problem of addiction in the name of Jesus. I pray that you, they can heal, O oh Lord. I pray that they can find you, Lord Jesus, through your word, and they can find healing in their soul. I pray, Lord, that they can have the wisdom, the knowledge from you, Lord. O oh, Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, touch and bless every soul who come today. And I pray that you will empower them, heal them, and restore them completely, Lord, that they can be out from the chain of sin and the work of the enemy. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. We praise you and we adore you. O oh, glory belong to your name. Amen and amen. Thank you. Bye-bye, my friend.